need to know what happened in crypto today. Here is the latest news on daily trends and events impacting Bitcoin price, blockchain, DeFi, NFTs, Web3, and crypto regulation. Uh, crypto mining company Core Scientific has reached a $45 million settlement with former crypto lender Celsius in relation to a mining data center dispute. Meanwhile, the Bitcoin miner, who received 19.8 BTC in accidental fees from Paxos, has returned the funds. And research shows that North Korea linked hackers have stolen a total of $340.4 million in cryptocurrencies so far in 2023. Uh, crypto miner core scientific has reached an agreement with Celsius Network to settle an ongoing legal dispute pending court approval. Uh, on September 15th, Core Scientific announced that it agreed to sell a Bitcoin mining data center to Celsius for $14 million cash, thereby resolving all existing litigation. The value of the data center was roughly $45 million. The two firms have been embroiled in a legal battle since October 2022, and Core Scientific alleged that Celsius' failure to pay its bills. Meanwhile, Celsius claimed that Core Scientific wasn't fulfilling its contract to deploy mining raids. Uh, oddly enough, both companies filed for bankruptcy last year during the depths of the crypto bear market. Uh, in the case of Celsius, uh, multiple executives were on the receiving end for criminal charges. Uh, former. Uh, CEO Alex Mashinsky uh, was arrested uh, in July uh, and has pleaded not guilty uh, to fraud and market uh, uh, to manipulation charges. The Bitcoin miner who received the 19.8 BTC in fees has returned the funds to blockchain infrastructure firm Paxos after its claims that the company made the mistake of paying over $500,000 in BTC transfer fees. NF2 pool have sent the 19.8210863 BTC fee overpayment back to Paxos. On September 10th, the crypto community was puzzled after seeing a BTC transaction that paid around $500,000 in fees to move around $2,000, while the average network fee was around $2. Various speculations were raised, with some believing that the transaction was done by copy-pasting data and accidentally pasting an output into the fee box without double-checking. And on September 13th, Paxos announced that it was their server that made the transfer. Following its claim, the company assured its users that their funds were safe and that the funds belonged to Paxos. The company also clarified that PayPal was not involved in a mistake and admitted that the error was its own. And almost a day after Paxos's claims, the Bitcoin miner who received the funds went on X, formerly Twitter, to express frustrations after agreeing to refund the amount to Paxos. The miner asked their X followers what they would do in his stead, and a majority voted to just distribute the money to other Bitcoin miners. However, this advice doesn't appear to have been taken. Blockchain data shared by Bitcoin Explorer Mempool confirmed that the funds were indeed returned on September 15th. Uh, thousands of dollars in transaction fee mistakes uh, have been lost before back in 2019. Uh, an Ethereum user lost almost $400,000 in Ether after making the mistake of pasting values in the wrong fields. Luckily, the Ethereum mining pool, Spark Pool, helped the user recover half of the funds lost. And if we're clearly happening by the world is forced to point our information as, as, as a fundamental of development and discussion and premium skills uh, in the, well, the figure is down 80% from the $1.65 billion stolen by the DPRK linked hackers in 2022, the firm has warned the industry that the risk is just as present as ever. Um, the fact that this year's numbers are down, it's not necessarily an indicator of improved security or reduced criminal activity, uh, Chan Analysis said in a September 14th report. Uh, we must remember that 2022 set a dismally high benchmark. Experts warn 
Uh, DPRK uses stolen crypto to fund nuclear weapons programs. The cooperation between DPRK and Russian cyber criminals that we see above is disturbing as Russian exchanges generally don't miss. Uh, and also not all gaining. Aaron Plant, Chain Analysis Vice President of Investigations, told Cointelegraph that crypto firms need to focus on training employees to counter social engineering tactics commonly deployed by these hacker groups, uh, with North Korean linked hackers in particular, sophisticated social engineering tactics that take advantage of the trusting and carelessness of human nature to gain access to corporate networks has long been a favored attack vector. Teams should be trained on these risks and warning signs.